What's up guys, Mint City here yet again with another video. Today I'm going to be reviewing Meteor Fall, which is a single player card game available on Android and Apple devices for $2.99. So what I mean by reviewing it is that it's going to be a little bit deeper of an analysis of the game compared to my first impressions videos. Usually with my first impressions, you're literally just seeing my first impressions and my thoughts as I'm experiencing the game in real time. This one, I'm going to be diving into specific aspects of the game and I'm going to be giving it a one to five star rating at the end, whether I suggest it or not. Kind of just like my uh, first impressions video, except this is gonna have a lot more detail to it. So I hope you guys enjoy it. It will be a little bit longer than my normal videos, but that's okay. Just go grab a drink and grab a snack and let's get right into it. All right, guys, so here are the main three points that I'm going to be addressing in this review. These are the aspects that I'm going to focus on to judge whether this game is worth your time or not and give it its uh, one to five star rating. So first off, we're gonna be looking at its art style, whether I enjoy it or not. Obviously, remember that reviews are subjective. Um, people's opinions are different, so something that doesn't necessarily appeal to me could appeal to you. Um, with the second point, I'm going to be looking at sound design. So it's, uh, it's sound effects, it's music, stuff like that. And third, it's gameplay. I think the gameplay will be the most uh, non-subjective aspect of my reviews is uh, I think we can all agree on whether gameplay sucks or not. So uh, I think that's the one main focus that I will mainly focus on. The art style and the sound design are more my opinions, but I'm going to throw them out there anyways. So now that you guys know how this review is going to go down, let's get into it. First up is the game's art style. So Meteor, Meteor Falls art style is extremely awesome. So if any of you have ever seen Adventure Time, this gives off a really hardcore Adventure Time vibe. Um, I love the aesthetics of this game. Um, everything is just oozing with charm and personality. This is definitely not a plain Jane game, or uh, it definitely doesn't emulate some other game's art style that's popular. This is a art style all of its, uh, all of its own. I haven't looked into who actually is the artist of this game, but holy cow, I'm going to follow his work um, to Kingdom Come. I love the art style of this game. Everything about it, like I said, oozes charm and personality. Um, uh, I, I just, I'm pretty much speechless when it comes to the art style. I, I don't know if this is the kind of art style that people will either love or hate, but I love it. Definitely adds to the fantasy theme that the game has. Uh, I think they knocked it out of the park with the art style on this one. That's about all I have to say on this section. Pretty much as easy as it gets. The art style is phenomenal. Um, that's all I have to say. All right, now on to the sound design. So the sound design, in my opinion, is just as good as the art style. So l luckily. So what I like the most about it is it's very detailed. Um, I love the the atmosphere it creates. So um, there's a lot of people talking in the background as you're playing this game, and um, it, it seems that you're in like a tavern. A tavern. So just like in Hearthstone, you you feel like you're playing this card game in a tavern. The same could be said on this one. And uh, all you see is this big hairy arm um, slapping down cards, pulling cards away. So it really does feel like you're playing a tabletop card game um, by yourself, just a single player game, kind of like solitaire-ish. Um, we'll get into the, the gameplay at a later time. But I do love the sound, des sound design. There's these quirky uh, guitar plucks and guitar sounds and stringed instruments. and. Um, it really does add a lot to the atmosphere of the game. Really does keep you, uh, it, aside from the very unrealistic and cartoony aesthetics of the game, um, it really is, uh, it really is immersive to a point. So yet again, I do think they knocked it out of the park with the sound design. The sound design complements the visuals well and the art style, as I was saying before. So, so far, so good. Very easy for my first review to review these past two aspects. So let's move on to the gameplay. All right, so as for its gameplay, it is fun to put it simply. Um, so this is a single player guard game, as I have mentioned before. 
Um, it's kind of feels like a cross between Reigns, if you're familiar with that, and like Card Crawl or Solitarica, if you guys know those games. So it's a single player game where uh, you will, there's a lot of replayability in it. You get to choose between four initial classes or uh, characters to play as, and depending on those characters, you will start off with a deck. And that deck will uh, consist of a limited number of cards. And as you progress through the game's story, which is randomized, you will be able to edit that deck, include more uh, cards in, as well as take cards out. And so you'll have this pile of cards and you'll be randomly drawing the top one from your deck and you'll be able to choose whether you want to use it or not. And each, uh, e whether you choose to use it or not, that counts as an action. So if you choose to use it, it takes away one action. If you cha choose to not use it, it adds um, stamina, which is used to play any card, if that makes sense. So no matter whether you use a card or not, it will add, uh, it will take away from your turn meter. And then uh, your stamina is basically mana, uh, uh, and that's what you use to use the cards, if that makes sense. So you'll be constantly juggling whether uh, uh, juggling your stamina, um, choosing to use cards or not in certain situations, depending on your stamina and your life, stuff like that. So it's very strategic, but it, it's a perfect blend of strategy and luck, in my opinion. So you never know what's going to happen. Um, it is very similar to Reigns in the aspect of how you control it. You'll swipe left or right, kind of like a Tinder mechanic, uh, to choose whether you want to use a card or not, or choose to take a card or not. Um, uh, just like Reigns, depending on what choices you make, there will be random events, uh, random story events that will happen, uh, depending on uh, which playthrough you're on or whatever. It's just completely random. And you'll be able to make nice little decisions, so you never know what's coming. It's nice how much the game throws at you, and you never really know uh, if you've completely gotten the hang of it yet. And I love the deck building aspect. It's a fun little deck builder. You, you come up with nice little synergies, and it's not always good to take every card that comes your way, and the game does uh, convey that to you at an early time in the game, that, hey, more cards doesn't necessarily mean better. Maybe you should hang on to a certain few cards and make sure that your synergy is correct and the chances of you drawing those cards are correct. And uh, you will be fighting monsters primarily. Uh, you will be moving through different areas. There will be random boss encounters, stuff like that. Um, it, it's all just a nice blend of... It, you really do feel like you're on a random adventure and you don't know what to expect next. Of course, with these type of games, sometimes you do see the same scenarios, but it doesn't... Uh, you don't encounter those same scenarios very often, or if at all, uh, during your first few hours of play. So I've really enjoyed it. Um, there is a learning curve to it. Don't expect to win the game off of your first try. Uh, there is a learning curve, as with any of those games. And sometimes you're just lucky, and sometimes you're definitely not lucky, and the game was just playing against you, and there was no way you were going to win. But that's what makes this game so fun. The luck keeps you guessing, and the strategy keeps you uh, yearning for more. And uh, there is a level up system per playthrough, and the more you level up, the more actions you'll gain. Um, defeating monsters will give you currency that you can use to upgrade cards on your journey, or buy new cards, and stuff of that nature. You'll, you'll be uh, hit with these choices. Do you want to upgrade a card, or do you want to automatically refill your health and your stamina and all of that for the next battle? Stuff like that. So I really enjoyed these these uh, um, these choices that the game slaps in your face. Uh, it's very intuitive with its controls, like I mentioned before. Uh, I love portrait mode games. It's perfect for mobile. I would suggest playing this on a phone over an iPad. Um, there are a few glitches in the gameplay that I've encountered. Uh, one, one time I was fighting a monster and I hit it for its killing blow, but the ability I used did damage to me as well. And it killed me in the process, but so that the so the game reacted in a way that, hey, you died, the game's over, but hey, you killed the monster, move forward. So it was a weird like limbo state. I've also encountered uh, uh, error code messages on it, but that was only one or two glitches that I've encountered through a couple hours of play. Um, but yeah, that that's the only downside to this game and the gameplay that I have seen before. So just be aware of those, but by far this game 
is worth your money. Um, so we are going to get into the star rating for the game. So let's get right into it. All right, so now we are on to the final verdict. One to five stars. What do I rate Meteor Fall? Um, despite the glitches, I was thinking of taking off maybe half a star for the glitches. Um, but they were so few and far between uh, for the amount of play that I had time uh, that I had with the game. I don't. I I'm sure that the developer will iron those out very soon in the future. I know that he is already working on it. Um, but I give this game a full five stars. So what a great game to review off the start is. This is definitely a must-have in my opinion if you enjoy single-player card games, if you enjoy solitaire games, if you've enjoyed Reigns or Card Crawl or Solitarica or games of that nature, this is a no-brainer for you. Honestly, it does meld together some great aspects of games that I've played previously. Um, it's just the total package and I can totally see them adding new classes and characters into this game in the future. It's just, it has, it has so much potential and it's such a complete package already. And I can already see it growing in even more in new directions. And I'm just excited to see how the game develops further. Um, but yeah, that is my final verdict. Such a great game, definitely a must have. It's only $2.99, the price of a coffee or a drink or like a small snack, so you're not gonna be hurting your wallet too much with this one. It's a premium a premium experience. There are no, um, no traps involved with this one whatsoever. And that concludes my review. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you have any suggestions for me, leave them down below. If you liked this video or you're new to my channel, please leave a like and uh, pop a sub if you enjoyed. And uh, it really helps if you guys share this channel with other people. Um, I think that's the, the, the most help that you could give me, is sharing it with other people who may enjoy mobile games or are interested in mobile gaming in general, because that is what my channel is primarily about. So thank you again for watching. I really appreciate it. I'm having a ton of fun with uh, doing this, and uh, I never thought that it would even come this far. We just passed like 75 subscribers, which I know sounds very insignificant, but it is mind-blowing for me. So thank you again for your guys' support and take it easy.